Today here on rebelstrip.net and 10 minute test drive, we're taking a look at Honda's Ridgeline. This is their second take on a small truck or a medium sized truck. And the question we have for you, is it the truck you want or is it the truck that you need? That's what we find out here next on rebelstrip.net and 10 minute test drive. outside and the sort of design language of this Ridgeline. Well, it's very much a Honda Pilot because, well, that's what it's based on. Does it look like a truck up front? No, it pretty much looks like a crossover and that's either good or bad depending on what you're looking for. So from the side, the profile is not bad. Two things you immediately notice or two things to notice from the side profile, perhaps three, depending on what's important to you. One, no more flying buttress here. That, for a lot of people, is a good thing. Two, this character line here is purely artificial. There is no separation between the cab and the body. This is a unibody platform. And thirdly, um, while this is decent sized space back here, this door could stand open just a little bit more. Is it hard to get in and out? Not really. But, you know, the angles are a little bit awkward. Once you're in, decent space, though. So if you're buying this as a truck, you're going to probably be hauling things or use it for some work. Uh, it does come with the trailer hitch. It'll tow 5,000 pounds in all-wheel drive or 3,500s in front-wheel drive or two-wheel drive mode. Uh, the tailgate is a two-way deal. It will swing open uh, from here. And then that allows you to get to the supplemental cargo down here. This is uh, just under seven and a half uh, cubic feet, like 7.3 cubic feet. Uh, has drain holes, so yes, you can fill it up with ice and beverages for your favorite tailgating. And of course, we'll show you the party trick that goes along with that as well. Lighting in the bed. And of course, it opens traditionally. Now, height. It is a little high to get up to the uh, top of the bed. 36 inches. The actual bed length is 63 inches. We didn't measure that. The other thing is depth here isn't fantastic. It's only uh, just shy of 17 inches. Oh, and as far as the width, you will get get that thing to go correctly there. 58 inches side to side. You have uh, plenty of tow hooks in here for strapping things down and we've been able to haul uh, a few large items here with no issues. You know, normal driving, this thing is great. We were able to get just about 26 on the highway, gets about 20 combined, which is right around what the EPA says it should. So that's really good. 280 horsepower, 243, 245 foot-pounds of torque. You know, it's rather up there in the power band. I think peak horsepower is around 4,700. Uh, peak torque, uh, not too far below that. Yes, it does feel like it strains sometimes if you're trying to get on it. Normal day and day driving, eh, it's all right. Um, not brilliant, but it's fine. If you're towing something, it's probably going to struggle a little bit. Ride and handling on this thing are great. It's quiet. It rides well. It rides like a big crossover because essentially that's what it's based on. It's not your traditional half-ton pickup truck. And that's okay because most of the time you're just going to be commuting. And for that, this thing is extremely comfortable. The back seat, yeah, not a ton of room in there, but certainly full-size adults can fit back there in comfort and be okay for a while. So one of the party tricks that the Honda Ridgeline does is not only does it play music here in the cabin, 
but with a few little tweaks here. Joe and it will come. Tailgate party or tailgate party and then you flip this up and oh hey look, run for the bear. So as we film this, we're just uh, about two weeks away from the Detroit Auto Show and that's where the North American car, truck and crossover of the year will be uh, announced, the knack toy. And this is up for a finalist for Truck of the Year against the Ford Super Duty and something else, which I probably should know, but don't. After spending a week with this, putting, you know, 400 and some odd miles on it, we really think this should win. It drives beautifully. It's perfectly sized. And, um, you know, for day-to-day -day driving, it's great. Does it tow as much as you'd like? No, you wish it could tow more, but how often do you tow more than 5,000 pounds? Ask yourself honestly, would you like the bed to be a little bit longer? Yes, if it was like half a foot longer, that would probably be just about perfect. But for overall day-to-day -day driving, commuting, and what you're going to use this thing for 95% of the time, yes, this is probably all the truck you will ever need. Will you want more? Well, of course you'll want more. But will you really need it? Would you really use it? Probably not. Should you be looking at this Honda Ridgeline? Absolutely. We've absolutely loved our week with this thing, and we wish it was sticking around a little bit longer. 